having two beers because I mean they had me hang out and they had a bunch of guards and so it was just it was really heartbreaking just to be able to you know, kick that I mean not that the tournament that way. Well. It just feels great right now to be able to just move on. You, you fouled out, Isaiah fouled out, kind of kind of deal with the game with the knee injury. I mean, did you think that you guys could win without much from the post and getting such limited production points? I mean, we were stopping them on the other end. We're trying to get them to beat us with their guard. They caused it a fantastic job that they had. A great number of points probably at a career high tonight. So, I mean, he just we tried to not let Portis beat us because he's a really great, he's a really good player. You've seen Marcus go off in the second half before. Does it ever surprise you what he does, especially when he takes over a game like that? No, it doesn't. It never surprised me. I mean, why, would, why should it surprise you? We've seen it all last year. I mean, he's capable of doing it. It's just whenever it comes out, it comes out in a, in a great way. And everybody loves it. Why were you guys so successful in the offensive boards in the first half? Just attacking the glass is what they've been trying to do all year. Just go to the glass hard and be able to get off the box house and just get in there. Portis finished with 18, but he was 5 of 15 and scored in his first possession, in his first, their first possession. He didn't score again until 54 seconds left in the half. What did you guys do to keep him from not just scoring, but not even getting touches for a while? I mean, just, just mixing up on him. I mean, I went there and played on him a good deal. So, I mean, the Kennedy played on him a good deal. So, I mean, it's probably a mixture of Kennedy with his weight. I mean, him being a bigger guy than me, using my speed and get around him. Or, you know, went small for a little bit. So, I mean, we just kept him on his toes and just tried to keep him off balance because I mean, he didn't really know what to expect. We were coming down the floor, we were already set up in our defense. Because I mean, at times we went zone, at times we just went back to man to man. So, it's just, just kept him, kept him un off balance. Have you had a chance to talk to Kennedy since the game ended? I mean, he came in here, I mean, he looks okay. It's just, we just have to see. I mean, we got to let the Dodgers rip by him and they know what's best for him. And we just, just pray for the best. It looked like you guys were joking on the bench before the end of the game a little bit with Kane. It seemed like maybe he was in pretty decent spirits, all things considered. Who, Kennedy? Yeah. I mean, there was sometimes, some not going to lie, sometimes he does over-exaggerate some things, but <laughs> that one, I didn't get to, I didn't really get to see the play, so I, I don't know what to say to that. So I was like, hey, he, he might be just a little over-exaggerated right now. I don't know what it is. So it's just, when you think about see. how you felt at at this point, the last two years, what is the difference now? Last two years, I'd probably be in tears right now. But now it's just this excitement and joy. I mean, I'm, I'm really proud of uh, my team and I mean, really stepped up in a big way. And we finally got with that hump of turning over in that little span in the second half. And we did a fantastic job going down the stretch and be able to finish out the game. To win a game like this, a uh, coach during the course of the year was talking a little about toughness issues, being consistency, not just physical. But mentally, but you guys had to tough this thing out. Not just physically, but mentally today as well. There's, you know, Jackson's all, uh, Justin's all banged up, and Kennedy getting uh, the injury. You found out, Isaiah found out. You had the quirky lineups on the court, and yet you still were able to win against a pretty good team like this. I mean, this is it's a game of basketball, man. You never know what's going to happen during the course of a game. I mean, you just have to be prepared for everything. I mean, we've practiced 96 times this year. I mean, we've been through every situation you can think of. So I mean, we just we got to be prepared for it. I mean, now we just have to. Have you ever been to Los Angeles? Huh? Have you ever been to Los Angeles? Yeah, I've been to plenty of times. For AAU trips. Oh, okay. We went, uh, we went my freshman year at Long Beach State. So, I mean, I was a, before we went to Hawaii. Oh, that's so right. You guys went to Long Beach State. That's that, was, right. that was a lot of fun. So, I mean, it's going it's gonna to be great. But this is going to be a better trip for you? Hey, man. I want to go to the beach, but we got business to take care of. Did first. you guys hear the NC State one? You beat Villanova. <laughs> <laughs> uh, What's the trial? The trial? The tri or Villanova, mm -hmm. yeah. He don't I'm not like gonna that. I'm not going to no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Well, all these teams that you guys lost to in the regular season keep advancing. Man, that, just, that just shows how, how great, of, how sch how great was, our schedule was. I was, I was hoping you'd say something. <laughs> we had a very tough schedule this year, so I mean, it's, that's what you expect out of those guys. They're, they're going to get some wins. So. Thanks. 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 Thanks.